two men killed in the Yarlow bushfire, finally laid to rest. And he was very much an Australian man, proud of his country. And you can't ask for more than that. Known simply as Squizzy, the Vietnam veteran was caught inside his home with his pet dog as the blaze tore through the town. He phoned his neighbours for help, but they couldn't get back inside the fire storm. <laughs> Laying poppies on his coffin, the men he served with in Vietnam. Just with his smile and jovial your face, that's Les. He cracks jokes, he, he, uh, he was just one of the boys. Les Taylor was just one of a handful of West Australians who fought in the Battle of Long Tan. More than once, his camp was soaked with dangerous Agent Orange. So Les is very committed and very loyal to his fellow gunners. And as you say, once a gunner, always a gunner. The fire was so fierce, the coroner needed dental records from the Defence Force to finally confirm Les Taylor was gone. The RSL paying tribute at his service. And in the morning, we will remember them. I think it's, it's really important for ex-servicemen to come together uh, at a time like this and to have a farewell that just does justice to the life of someone like Les. Michael Genovese, Nine News.